Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are at the bread line. All right, it says there's stone soup, but this is really the bread line Inc. And what they are is they are a soup kitchen and they provide hot meals to anyone that needs one. Now, I just happened to find this place because my wife was looking online and she said, hey, there's a soup kitchen here in Fairbanks. And I was like, what is it? What's his name? Then I verified with Miss Ann at the food bank that they are legitimate. So what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna talk to John, all right, who's one of the administrators here. And what I've read is, is that the soup kitchen here, the bread line can feed someone three meals a day, 365 days a year for about $1,600 or so. We're gonna go ahead and don't tell anyone, but we're gonna go ahead and give them a check for $2,000 so that they can continue to do the good work that they do. I'm very excited, so let's go ahead and head on in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the area inside the bread line. As you can see here, they've been collecting a few donations, which is awesome. I love to see that the community has actually been donating snacks that they needed for a drive. And then here, this is their kitchen area in the back. And as you can see, this is where they cook the meals and then they hand the meals out to anyone that needs it. So anyone here, anyone in Fairbanks that needs a hot meal, they can come in here and get a hot meal. So I think that this is a great place to donate to because we know that the funds are gonna stay right here in Fairbanks and there's like no administrative costs. So originally I was just gonna make a donation online, but if you make a donation online, that's okay, ma'am. I'm, I'm not gonna include you in there, don't worry about it. Yeah. But if you make a donation online, the uh, service that collects the money keeps a little bit of money. So I just called Sean over here. His name is Sean and not John. I called Sean and I said, if I bring you a check directly, do you keep it all? And he said, yes. I said, well, we'll see you here in a few minutes. Thanks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. I ran into Hannah, all right? And Abby is next to her, but she is a little camera shot. <laughs> and do you two volunteer here? No, we're staff. Oh, you're staff here. Okay, well, that's great. And I just wanted to ask a couple of questions while Sean is finishing up over there with a phone call. And it's about how many people come through here on a daily basis? How many people do you provide hot meals to? That's a good question. Um, re in recent days, we've been putting out about 100 hot meals and 100 sack lunches every day, five days a week that we're open. And just this last week, our numbers dipped down a little bit. Really? Before the pandemic, we used to be slower in the wintertime. Um, but the last year, we no, we have not. So this is something a little different. We don't know if it'll hold or if it's just this week. You know, so Okay. Yeah, so I'd say between 80 and 100. That's great. And now anyone can come in here that needs a meal and they'll get service. Yeah. And uh, what times are you open? You know, when do you open your doors? Yeah, we're open 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday. Oh, 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning, that's yeah. it? Yeah. From 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning? Is that like exactly. a staffing issue because you don't have that many people to cover the, the have, hours? Or? It's, we have a number of other programs that go on here. So oh, the soup okay. kitchen is just the morning. And then in the afternoon, we have a culinary job training program. Oh, that that's great. Also. So it's sort of a couple different things going on. Also, because of the other service agencies in this town, there's different opportunities for folks to get food in other places. Right. We used to do a sit-down lunch here as well years ago, but it was just not many people came because there's other places. Well, that that's really that's a good thing in to. a way. Well, I mean, I'm just I, I, like I said, I was telling my viewers that I didn't even know this place existed. My wife was looking online because every year we donate to the food bank, and my wife was like, "Look, there's like a I don't know if you call yourself a soup kitchen." But I, she was like, hey, look, there's a soup kitchen in Fairbanks. I was like, really? That is awesome. We got to yeah. go check them out. Oh, so wonderful. here we are. All right. So thank you very much. It's nice meeting you. It's my pleasure. Thanks. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the person that I initially called John, but his name is really Sean. And you all know me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm senile, okay? But Sean is the person. He's like the treasure. So he's the person that takes the money, makes sure it gets in the bank, and makes sure that it gets spent. And Sean, I told our viewers that... Initially, I was just going to make a donation online, but I spoke to you on the phone and you told me that if you make a donation online, that, that the service that provides you with the funds, they take a little bit of that. And I wanted all of the money to come here. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to present you with a, a check or a cashier's check so that you can deposit into the 
the uh, I guess this is a corporation. Is this a 5013C3? Yeah, yeah, we have so you can deposit into into the corporation's account and then okay. you can do with it what you need to in order to help people. And I just want to know, we're going to go ahead and donate to you $2,000 today, but how much will that get? I, I read somewhere that it takes about 1500 or so dollars to feed one person for a year. Right, yeah. Um, so that, I mean, we've been ordering food for the first time. I'm not sure what Hannah said to you already. Um, since, because of the pandemic, um, so we have... Uh, a uh, weekly do uh, delivery from U.S. Foods, and that's about, I think, twelve hundred a week. So that two thousand. Really? Oh, about, that is outstanding. Yeah. So, do you get a lot of support from the federal government? Uh, we have been with CARES Act funding, but we get most of our support through community. Through community, right? Because that CARES Act funding is pretty much dried up, hasn't it? it? It's coming to an end. So, yeah, most of our support comes from our donors, and that's from the local Fairbanks. And you community. know what? To tell you the truth, Sean, that's how I like it. It's our exactly. community taking care of ourselves, right? That's how so, we like it, so, yeah, we stay stronger yeah. together. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to tell you that Breadline is located on 506 at Gaffney, right? 507. 507 Gaffney, yes. all right, here in Fairbanks. So if you want to make a physical donation like these over here, you can just go ahead and bring it in. And if you want to make a cash, i.e. check donation, you can also do it here. Or you can go online and do a donation there as well. Yeah, and you can Very easy to do. And our address is on there as well. And, and what I will do is, is I'll go ahead and make sure to leave a link to their donation uh, online so that you can do it there. All right, so... Ladies and gentlemen, look, without further ado, I just wanted to go ahead and present this to you. And there's no ceremony involved. <laughs> no. It's just me giving you a check. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much, man, for what you guys do. I know this is not going to you personally, but I just want to say right. thank you very much. Well, and I thank wanted, you, uh, yeah. We appreciate your support. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, you won't need to be here next year. But if you are, you'll go ahead and get another visit from the AP community. Indeed, so yeah. thank you very much, we'll keep man. Keep doing it so people are stop not hungry anymore. Awesome, yes. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. Again, thank you very much for all of your support. Remember that there's nothing wrong with giving. This money is going to go and be able to pay for all of the food that they need for almost two weeks, all right? Or feed one person for a full year. Other than that, thank you very much. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper, and I'm out. God bless.